Good morning, everyone. Jamie here. Welcome back to my garden. It is early in the morning and it is a work day. I've got my work overalls on and I am ready to go. So my goal for today is to fill these four Vigo garden beds that I just put together yesterday. Um, to fill them, it's going to kind of be a three-step process for me. So the first thing I want to do is I want to connect my arch trellis system. Vigo Garden Beds, the maker of these garden beds, they actually sell beautiful arches that you can like grow vines up and over and they actually connect right to the garden beds. So of course I wanted to have those. I got two of them and I'm going to hook them up to my garden beds first. Secondly, because I have my garden beds on concrete, these garden beds are bottomless and normally you would want to put them on regular ground like soil or lawn or something like that. But where I wanted to put them was on concrete. So that's okay to make up for that though i have to layer them with some landscape fabric so i did purchase some landscape fabric some pretty heavy duty landscape fabric and i'm gonna line these beds before i put in all this beautiful potting mix so this is the soil that i got delivered yesterday from a local landscape supplier and i have to say like i love getting materials from them because first of all it's really cost effective because you're buying in bulk and second of all i love them they're just so incredibly nice so if you live near me they're called dixon landscape supply and uh, they're the ones who delivered my compost which is that pile right over there and i actually did use them at my old property as well to deliver a whole bunch of stuff um so I know it's weird to get excited about potting soil, but I'm incredibly excited about this potting soil. It is so lofty and nice, and it they say that it has, let's see, compost, peat, gypsum, pumice, uh, manure, rice holes, like all really, really good stuff. They call it their premium potting soil mix. So I am planning to do the garden beds with with all, all potting soil. I'm not gonna put anything else in. There is another method though of filling these garden beds and I'm not gonna pronounce it correctly so I'll put it at the bottom of the screen right now. It's called Hugel culture, Hugel culture. I think that's right. Um, and basically what it is, is you're putting organic matter in the bottom of the garden beds uh, with the idea of you're saving money and the big organic matter, like the big branches and stuff like that are gonna break down over time. And there's a whole bunch of articles on it. Um, it's a really, really great method. I think, you know, I think it would totally work. The reason why I am not doing that with these garden beds is because these garden beds are on concrete and they have no access to all the biome in the soil um, if you would put these garden beds over, like say your lawn or, or a patch of, of dirt or soil in your garden, right? So I don't think the hugel culture method is gonna work very well for me in this situation because I feel like these are its own ecosystem. And I feel like eventually it would break down, but um, it would just take way too long. Um, but I think that that's a really good method and um, Vigo Gardens, the people who make this, they say that it's a really good method for these garden beds. So check, check that, I think that you'll save money. Um, but I feel pretty good. This wasn't, because I bought it in bulk, it wasn't too expensive. And I'm really excited because it's it's just really, really good soil. So anyway, these are the arch trellis systems that I am going to be putting. I'm going to be putting between here and here and then between the far two beds as well. And you can see that they connect right here. They connect to uh, the Vigo garden bed. They just connect uh, directly to it. So I think that that's really cool. I think that they're gonna be really sturdy. Um, I'm, I'm just really excited about them. I think that they will be fantastic. So I'm gonna first put the arches up and then second I will put the landscape fabric in and then I want to put these support bars which came with the Vigo garden beds and they just go directly across and of course when you put a lot of soil and stuff in your garden beds it's going to push out a little bit so these will give it a little bit more structure um, so I want to put those in and then finally get to filling the beds and I will see if I can talk my family into helping me out a little bit because I think this is going to be a big project uh, my goal is to finish it today but <laughs> 
those of you who watch me probably know that I always think I can get more done in a day than I actually can. So who knows? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how far I get um, today, but it's my, it's my goal to finish. All right, so let's get started. progress here. The arches are done. The arch trellis system is all done. It took me, let's see, I don't know, an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes per each set right here. Um, so I'm not going to say it was difficult. It definitely wasn't difficult, but it was tedious because there was so many little things that I had to screw in and, you know, uh, nuts and bolts and all that kind of stuff. So it definitely was tedious, but it it was not hard at all and I could definitely do it all by myself. Jason came out for a little bit to help me but he is inside watching football right now which is good for him. I want him to watch football and then I want him to get sick of watching football so he can help me scoop all this soil. <laughs> That's my plan. <laughs> so we'll see. So I'm gonna take a little break right now. I'm gonna have lunch. Then I will come back out and I will start working on the landscape fabric. You can see I kind of um, did a trial run basically and this is what i'm gonna do so this is six foot wide landscape fabric that i got in a roll i actually just got this off amazon it's folded in half so the roll looks like it's three feet but it's it's since it's folded it's actually six feet and so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do two strips one strip there and then one strip there and i am gonna install these support bars which come with the Vigo garden beds, I am gonna install them over the landscape fabric like that. I'm gonna poke little holes in the landscape fabric and then I'm gonna install this. And I think that's gonna help the landscape, landscape fabric stay where it needs to be. That's not recommended. That's like not something Vigo says. That's just something I'm trying that I think is gonna work really well. Then this is really, really thick landscape fabric. I'm a little bit worried about the drainage. So I think I will poke just a few holes around the edges so that there's plenty of drainage for these beds. I think it'll be fine, but I'm just gonna be extra, extra cautious. And then I just have these clips to hold it until I get the soil in. These are just like, chip clips you know nothing nothing special so that's my plan that shouldn't take too long i think scooping the soil is going to take the longest and be the hardest so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go fuel up inside get a cup of coffee have some lunch and then i'll be back out here and put the landscape fabric down All right, I've got reinforcements. How are the games? Games are great. How is your fantasy football standing? I'm doing well this week. What place are you in? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. I'm not in first place. <laughs> are you in last? 
Second to last. Second to last. <laughs> That's okay. You're not last. You're doing great. <laughs> okay, so Jason is out here to help me. This is now another two-person job. I feel like this whole thing is a two-person job. So what I did is I laid out the landscape fabric, six-foot wide landscape fabric, one and then two, and then poked a hole in each side and then screwed these crossbars in. And it's perfect because the crossbars are going to hold the landscape fabric up while we fill it. But what we're going to do now is we're going to do the other three. Now that we know how to do it, we know how to do it um, right. The one thing I do have to say is these crossbars are really hard because you have to push the whole garden bed together while you put the crossbars in. So just so you all know, it's definitely a two-person job. done with step two part two of today so I've got all the arches on I've got all the landscape fabric down and then the support bars kind of screwed in um, on the landscape fabric we basically we poked holes in the landscape fabric and then we put the support bars in and that's just gonna help the landscape fabric stay and not kind of slide down which sometimes happens if you put landscape fabric in a raised bed so I think this is really gonna help. I think this is gonna make it perfect to put all the soil in over the concrete. You know, if it if it seeps a little bit and stains this concrete, I totally don't care. I was actually thinking about maybe putting gravel on top of this concrete. I thought that that would be pretty neat. My hands are completely stained and I don't know if it's because of the landscape fabric or because of all the metal that I've been like messing with today. So now it's literally just hard work. We just have to take buckets of that soil and bring it into here. We can't even use our gorilla carts because these are too tall. They're 32 inches tall. So it is just, we're just going to see what we can get done. four done Half. halfway done I think we're done <laughs> we're both so tired right now and we're so dirty show your hands we are so very dirty so um we could probably finish the other two it's probably like four o'clock right now but you know no. <laughs> <laughs> we're done <laughs> my helper's done yeah my helper has to go watch the late late football game yeah right mm. <laughs> so anyway i will put my affiliate link for my vigo garden beds down in the description below if you all are interested in purchasing a vigo yourself it really helps me and my channel out and jason out if you click on that link i'm also going to put um 
like a link to the exact ones that I got, the olive green ones, nine in one, 32 inch, and then the specific arches that I got. And they're called VAT45, V-A-T-45. So it's kind of confusing uh, with all the names and the numbers that how Vigo Gardens names all these, but I'll put the ones, the exact ones that I used. And I'll even put the landscape fabric uh, that I got just off Amazon. It was just very, very basic. So anyway, we will work on doing the other two sometime later. Yeah, later. Later. <laughs> when my later. back feels better. Yeah, my back is hurting too. Anyway, we almost got done. I, I'm happy. I'm happy with what I got done today. I feel like I accomplished a lot and I feel like you accomplished a lot. I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today.